Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a student of computer science was studying to get her PhD. Her specialty? Hair simulation. Writing algorithms to make animated hair look real. So what's the fairy tale ending for a student of hair modeling? I was graduating and my advisor had actually heard that Disney was going to be making a film out of Rapunzel. Gesundheit. And I thought, this is perfect. <laughs> That's because it's hard to get hairier than this little lady. She has 70 feet of hair. That's a lot of hair. And, you know, her hair is on the screen throughout most of the film. Goldie, look at this! As a senior software engineer for Disney Animation Studios, Kelly Ward's job was to work with the art directors to bring those locks to life in the new movie Tangled. Hair simulation is known to be a pretty complex problem in CG animation because in reality, the human head has over 100,000 strands of hair. Modeling the movement of 100,000 strands, touching each other and bumping into objects, is complicated. One shortcut. We only simulated 173 hairs for each shot. This rough simulation happens before animation. And here's what it looks like after it's animated. The reason you don't have to simulate all 100,000. The hairs that are near each other usually tend to move pretty similar to each other. But then there's the question of what that movement should look like. Well, for a single strand, there's a lot of measured formulas for how stretchy a hair can be and what its physical parameters are. There aren't many measurements for a whole head of hair. So Ward and her colleagues did some research. We studied a lot of real hair and, you know, we start to tweak and change the way that we're computing our own hair interactions to try to mimic that. In this simulation, you can basically assign a section of hair certain parameters. We know how much that should weigh, for example. And then physics-wise, the hairs are treated sort of like springs. So we use a lot of those physical formulas that you would see in a mass spring system. Now, of course, there are some complications in making Rapunzel's hair truly realistic. The hair, in reality, would weigh quite a bit. <coughs> you know, 60 to 80 pounds or something. Look at those twiggy arms. There's no way Rapunzel could lift that. And imagine towing around an 80-pound mop by your head. In reality, there might be a lot of friction on the ground that's going to pull the hair back and, and strain her motion. We didn't want that for the film, so we developed different ways to kind of trick physics. Yay! To make sure the hair still looked like it had weight to it, but that it could still glide easily with her while she moved. So there was a lot of art direction to try and make it do what maybe it wouldn't do in the real world, but what we want it to do in our tangled world. In fairy tales, you can take liberties with hair physics. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.